I feel like a gosh darn alien, and it sucks. <laughs> My name's Hachi Cook, or just Hachi, or Cookie, whatever boats your float. I hope you're all keeping well in these strange times, and if you're struggling, my sincerest well wishes go out to you. Since this whole pandemic thing has started, a lot of us are pretty much stuck at home, and I guess seeing everyone and their mothers joining TikTok made me want to utilize the internet a bit more too. Just not via TikTok, because my phone's ass. Well, not until I get a handle on animating, at least. So, uh, I've had this dormant channel <laughs> and decided to just use it, I guess. Nothing serious, just me dumping whatever I feel like on it. And hey, if you like my stuff or relate to anything, awesome sauce. Anyway, I think we've all heard about being a foreigner in your own country, and while I learned fairly quickly that some flag-waving folk on yahoo.com interpret this as having all these dang foreigners in my country, I uh, relate in a different kind of way than this. So, uh, a little bit about me. I'm Jamaican by birth. My whole family's Jamaican too. Okay, cool. Now, whether you've been to Jamaica or not, I'm sure many of y'all know what your typical Jamaican sounds like. Yeah, you know, Bob, Bolt, Heck, Jamaican bobsledding team, even Popcon from that one video the girl has released a little while ago. And if it isn't clear already, I do not quite fit the auditory bill. Okay, yeah, big deal. People growing up in a country outside of their place of origin is nothing new, yada yada. And that's true. Send a black baby to China and nobody will be surprised that he can speak Mandarin. Though, given recent events, this might not be the best way to describe this. Mm. But you get the point, I hope. And I guess one could say home is where the heart is, or your whole family's from X country, so you still have a home to go back to. Is it weird that none of these things seem to resonate with me? More boring backstory! I left Jamaica with my parents and brother when I was like two. Spent 15 years there, came back to Jamaica. What's more, it wasn't England or America or Canada or China where I'd very physically stand out for being a minority race, aka black. It was Africa. Specifically, Southern Africa. I don't really see a point in specifying which Southern African country, because that doesn't really matter. And I don't want to reveal too much about myself to internet strangers off the bat. Yeah, all kinds of people are in Africa. The whole damn spectrum. Black people, white people, Indians, mixed folk, you name it. But generally, it's predominantly black, just like how Jamaica is predominantly black. So, theoretically, standing out wouldn't be too much of an issue. Also, return to the borderland, or whatever the heck people like to say nowadays. Only, that isn't what happened. Even though our skin isn't really any different, Eastern and Western cultures are worlds apart. And me... Being too essentially a blank slate, got caught in this massive tug of war between the culture of my home and the culture of a whole new country I had to adjust to. This country, however, while expecting me to conform to their way of life, never for a moment let us forget that we were just aliens in their country. And oftentimes, dealing with xenophobic discrimination just became a part of everyday life for me. I don't think the extent of this really hit me until I got back to Jamaica though. I had just recently turned 18 and the gigantic mixing pot of habits, cultural norms and expectations, my completely diluted accent and way of life made coming back home not really feel like I was home at all. It 
felt like there wasn't really a home to speak of at all. I had to relearn this culture and try to unlearn a lifetime of what was drilled into me, which is always easier said than done. I was raised in a um, pretty patriarchal society, if I could say that without sounding like a whole feminist. From I was a little girl, I was taught to keep my head down, never talk to or look an elder in the eyes. This was considered extremely out of order. And I complied. I didn't realize how much that was ingrained into me until I came back here, where lack of eye contact and an aversion to talking to elders is seen as rude. It's hard and a bit disorienting, and it sucks, but it's life and I just have to manage. Some things, of course, are pretty much the same. In Southern Africa, I don't think a day went by where someone wouldn't ask me what country I was from. I'm back in the country I said I was from, and the locals asked me which country I'm from. <laughs> They're often shocked when I tell them I'm Jamaican too. But honestly, I don't know what it's like to grow up Jamaican, and I don't know what it's like to grow up African. I just know what it's like to grow up a foreigner. Is that a bad thing? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I doubt it. I've experienced very, very valuable things and have cherished relationships and values and experiences as a result of my moves. But there's cons, and it's okay to recognize that. Hey, some aspects of this really, really, really sucks. It's fine. Admitting it is okay. Feeling like an alien sucks at times, but it's a pretty unique experience too, I'd imagine. If this resonates with you to any degree, or if you possibly learnt something from this, then awesome. I don't want to make videos of me whining about myself with no real purpose. I want to put a word out there for people who may feel kind of alone in this department. So like, if you relate, mood. I'm here too. I get that feel. Your feelings are valid. And thanks for listening. If you want me to make more videos, maybe uh, subscribe? Like, comment, whatever you feel like doing really. If you don't like it, that's okay too really. <laughs> I just encourage you to be a little thoughtful and not bully me because I'm baby and I probably cry a lot. <laughs> thanks again see y'all whenever thanks for watching bye Ah!